Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well for this reading. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few Oracle cards for additional information and messages for the week. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay. The first two cards we have, we have strength and, uh, we're beginning with the major arcana of strength, which is a fabulous card. We see the woman here gently handling the lion, gently caressing the lion's head. She holds the power. She holds the power because of her gentleness and her kind touch. So the awareness for the week is to think about showing strength and exhibiting strength through kindness and consideration, through a sense of soft control. This is not the week to be forceful, to be demanding, to try to do the hard sell, perhaps. This is about accessing and allowing your heart to prevail, to allowing your heart to lead the way. The heart determines the strength and our heart determines courage to handle adversity and obstacles. So if you're facing some tough decisions or so tough things that are going on within your life, this message to you is you have what it takes to handle them. It may not always be easy, but you do have the inner strength and you should have faith in yourself that you're able to handle whatever comes your way. So with the strength card, we have the seven of pentacles. So the seven of pentacles, we see the man here. Looks like he's resting on his garden tool and he's looking at his bush with the pentacles. And he may be thinking, oh, I've putting in, I'm putting in a lot of work here to tend to this bush. When's it going to be ready? When am I going to be ready for harvest? And we often feel like that when we're tired or we've really been grinding or working hard. We take a step back just because we need the rest. We may need a breather. We may need to look at what we're doing and assess how we're doing. Are we still enjoying the process? Is this still a worthwhile goal that I'm trying to accomplish? You're awfully close to reaching that goal. This is the seventh card. Uh, but there has been, you know, you're putting in the time and the resources and your energy in order to make this um, bush bear fruit for the best way possible. And sometimes we just need to think about our process. Can we make it better or is it worthwhile? Is it worthwhile following? So this is taking a step back from your work, from whatever issue that you've been putting in your time and your money and your, your energy into, you may just need to sit back and to think about things. So in terms of guidance, here we have the lovers, major arcana. So this week is a week to think about your important relationships, your significant relationships. The lovers goes to, uh, this relationship that could have true significance in your life. Uh, that's really meaningful. That's emotionally rewarding where you are open to each other. You're vulnerable. Uh, you're taking a chance with love, taking a chance with emotionally connecting. Sometimes things don't work out and we get hurt, but going through the process is just as important. So here's the angel giving the blessing here. But often when we look at the lover's card, we are thinking about decisions as well. Are you thinking of the same things? Are you looking toward the future? Are you, you have a What's your, what's your philosophy on money, on children, on work? And so we, we discover these things in relationships as we get to know someone, as we build intimacy. And so this is something that, you know, that ultimately you will figure out that this is going to be a committed relationship or maybe, maybe not. So with this lover's card right next to it, we have the two of Swords and the twos 
in general, speak to decisions again that we have to make. And so here we have this woman who is sitting on this bench, two swords in her hand, crossing her heart, her heart chakra, blindfolded. And so when we see this two of swords, it's maybe there's a sense here of not wanting to see things or not wanting to make a decision at this time. You're not in the right frame of mind to make a decision. You uh, are feeling, maybe feeling off balance, off kilter, stagnant perhaps, look at the water behind. And uh, you've got your guard up here, it almost seems like, that there's just, I'm not, I can't make a decision right now, I'm not ready to do so. So there could be something that you're keeping, that you're keeping within. Because when I see this swords crossing the heart, I feel like the, like the heart messages aren't going through and then nothing's coming out. So there's a decision perhaps that maybe you're deferring or that you're just not ready to work with now. And that decision could be related to your important relationships. Again, whether it's a love romantic relationship or whether it's a business relationship or a family dynamic that's important within your life. Lovers is about relationships. Two of Swords, it's about uh, not seeing things or not being willing to see, to see things. So let's see what we have for possible outcomes. So interesting, we have, we have another two card. We have the Two of Wands. So the two of wands, we see the finely dressed man here. He's holding the world in his hands as if he says, I have the world and what am I going to do next? Where am I headed to next? And, and we're making these decisions about our future, the path that we're hoping to take, the vistas that we're hoping to climb or see, looking out here over the water in the mountains. These two wands, almost like it's a portal to move forward this may be the uh, thinking time of, of, of the impact of decisions. It impacts relationships, existing relationships, businesses. If you're thinking of doing something different business related. So it's about the early stages of manifesting. So perhaps you've been resistant to having, you know, a committed moving forward, big relationship. And here's the lovers. And here's the idea of manifesting. So the, you know, what I see is I feel like it's this, it's the manifesting and developing this important relationship, this love relationship or other deep, emotionally satisfying relationship that you're going to be making a decision to create something new. And here it's taking the leap of faith of the fool, taking you down this path. Nothing is certain in life and the fool is the carefree wonder of living life to its fullest, of perhaps taking this new path, taking this new journey. One that's going to make you feel alive and feel free and feel happy. Maybe not everyone agrees with you. Maybe the dog is saying, take me with you. Maybe the dog is saying, look out below. You're going to crash. You're going to fall. But the fool has such promise. I mean, I will say that the fool is wonderful because it is the desire for something new. It is to take this new journey, the leap of faith that's going to make you feel alive. That's going to make you feel like life is worth living. Get out there, take this path. And the path may very well be with respect to a love relationship or an important relationship to you. Once you get past this feeling here of being unable to make a decision, and this may be fear or self-doubt, once you can reconnect with your, with your vision, that leads to an opportunity, a new path. 
So interesting, the strength to make decisions, the time out from this situation that you've either gone back to a situation refreshed and ready, or you've decided that uh, maybe something is better for you. But uh, it's always wonderful to see the fool and strength and lover. So these are really nice major arcana cards to have for you. Let's get a little more information from the oracle cards. This will be an affirmation for the week. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So I think that's great news. The full two of wands manifesting. A breakthrough is at hand. Again, by your own hand. And here, similar, holding on to the, to the tool. Here he's making that path. Now I'd like to choose a card for healing. Oh, no, I just picked the first one. I meant to shuffle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick two. Gosh. Okay. Life review and prosperity. Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Again, taking stock of your life, filling in the gaps, taking the time to reflect, to make decisions. Decisions aren't always easy. And then prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So, again, manifesting your dreams into reality. The beginning of manifesting, manifesting with the Two of Wands. The journey. Prosperity. Not only material prosperity, but prosperity within love and life. And finally, let's see what the message is for love. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back, or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Physical touch is important. It's showing affection. It's giving of yourself. And it just makes me think of this tender touch and the gentle touch that the woman is giving to the lion and the lion respond, responds appropriately. So physical touch, hands, hugs, uh, and more perhaps. So Libra, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and I look forward to seeing you next week, and I hope that you have a terrific week. Take care. Bye-bye.